So this is around $10.42, I forgot, but with tax it is around $11 or something. And I got this at Walmart and I couldn't believe that I saw this at Walmart because for the first time in forever, our Walmart is updated with the makeup. And people buy this in Amazon or whatnot, but I was just walking by and I saw this at Walmart and I was like, why not try this baby out? So the packaging is pretty similar, but this one is a little bit slimmer than the Infallible Pro Matte that they had. I haven't tried the Pro Glow yet because my face is already oily and I'm hesitant to do that. The shade that I got right now is Nude Beige because, I don't know, I just decided to get this one because everything almost all of the colors are already sold out and you know if you are buying at walmart some of them are half test <laughs> some of them are open tested because some people do that i don't know why probably because there are no testers at walmart so yeah i can't wait to try this baby out i don't know what is it what is the color gonna be if it's gonna be too light or whatever but we'll make it work so it says here this is up to 24 hours Full coverage, weightless feel, and like all the um, like all the foundations in the drugstore in the market, this is also 30 ml. So let me just read something at the back. At the back of any L'Oreal um, infallible, you always have these markers where it says either where it says the finish, the longevity, the coverage, and the texture. So for this one, the finish looks like natural and then it says 24 hour and then it says the coverage is high and then the texture is air light for me this is such a dream because who would not want that like full coverage and you feel like nothing for me that is crazy insane and this is a drugstore product if it's really good i'll probably use this for a long time <laughs> So it says here, Pro Face and Body Foundation, Ultra Lightweight, Seamless Coverage, Pro Tip, Use Everywhere, Face, Necks, Arms, Legs to Cover Imperfections and Even Skin Tone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. Before we proceed, I want to mention the applicator so it looks like that. So you also squeeze it, there's no pump or anything. And the entire packaging is made out of a plastic. I want to try it first in my tattoo. I just really want to see how thick this product is or how pigmented this is. Um, I like the fact that the drugstores are kind of like stepping up the game. They're creating this kind of like concealer foundation. Why not just make a very good foundation and just call it like a full coverage foundation instead of like calling it like concealer foundation and stuff. Ooh. This is, hmm, when you press it, it's not like the infallible pro mat that is very easy to press. It's kind of hard, so that is not bad. Of course, when you're covering something, you're going to do that, right? Let me just, ooh, I like how it finishes. It's like, soft and velvety you know that feeling when you are using a primer and you have this very soft canvas that's the exact feeling that i have right now and it does not it does not have any smell let me just do this side by side with the infallible pro matte this one also says 24 hour demi matte and medium coverage but we'll see So I'm guessing the nude beige is light, but what else? So what do you guys think? Why do I feel like there's no difference? But this one is super smooth compared to this one. This one is a little... I feel like it's not really dewy, but it's supposedly matte, but it hasn't dried yet. But this one compared to this one dried up beautifully like you have this poreless primer on your face i love the feeling super silky smooth this one is smooth as well but you can feel like it sets a little bit longer than the total cover one so let's go ahead and try this on my face all right so i'm gonna do half of my face first with a beauty blender because i think everybody has one but if not i'm so sorry so 
I'm gonna do half of my face first with this pea-sized amount, hoping and praying that this is my shade. All right, I mean, it's light, but it's not that bad. Okay, not gonna use any concealer because it's going to void the effect of this foundation. I just want to see how crazy. Bro, that is so light. Like, it's okay. It's going to fade out later. So far, so good. I actually like it. Oh my goodness. Hmm. But I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it has the same coverage with the total matte. It's just the finish that is different. The one that I mentioned earlier, like it sets super quick. And I feel like once it's set, it's totally locked down, like you won't even need any foundation above it. Now that it's winter, I like how my lashes are going elsewhere. Let me just fix that. Oh my goodness. This is princesses crying because she wants to go inside because, I don't know, I'm not letting her inside because she might pee. Okay. Sorry about that. The coverage is nice. However, the coverage is not enough to cover my redness around here. I'm going to try to build it up. I'm gonna add more. Honestly, like how it sets and I love how it feels too. Like this is, this is not that at all. There you go. You can still see through it, like, comparing this one to the Milani one, Milani has better coverage. That's just me. But Milani still has better coverage. Their Conceal Imperfect, oh no, no, Conceal. The 2-in-1 foundation has better coverage than this one because this one, I can still see some redness. I feel like this is just a medium coverage. Doesn't have any difference with the pro matte at all. That's just me, okay? Now I'm gonna do the other side with a concealer brush. I mean, a foundation brush. Let's see. You know what? I'm just gonna use this one instead. Oops, John Ray's here. Yeah! He said, let's go. I like the fact that this one does not streak at all. But once it sets, it's really set. It's a little bit hot for me over here. Okay. So I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Hey guys, I finished my makeup here at work and I'm loving this foundation so far because I didn't even bother to put a loose powder above it. No concealer, no loose powder, just contour and a little bit of... I'm just inside my restroom, sorry about that guys. I have nowhere else to film but this is not going to stop me to do a review about this guys. So I will be right back after a few hours or at the end of the day and give you guys an update on what happens on my skin. Alright, so I literally went out so that you guys could see what the foundation looks like with the natural lighting. It's... it just... What do you call this? It has been like 30 minutes. I don't know why I can't talk right now, but I'm about to drink this up and I'll be right back. I'm sorry about that. My hair is uncombed. I'm such a mess today. Like, look at my lashes. 
I still can't get over this. How am I gonna talk to people? I don't want to be that person who has this falling eyelashes in the middle of a conversation. Be like, you know what I mean? But anyways, try to like just stay positive, even though life is not giving you that much joy in your life. I don't know if I make sense right now, but. I will be back after two to three hours. Why do I keep on repeating myself? Oh my god, I'm such a mess. I'll be right back. So I took a photo and this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like with the front camera with a flash. And then I will be using the back camera with also a flash. With also a flash, what? So after three hours and 45 minutes, my face looks like this. I looked like someone threw oil in my face. Like literally, my face is so oily. So after another four more hours, my face looks like this. So even if you can tell that my face is like an oil cesspool or whatever, you can see that it faded out gracefully. It's starting to fade out, but I'm glad that there are no patches. Hey guys, it has been... Ooh, I was like, hey guys, <laughs> hey guys, it has been 10 hours. I'm sorry about that. You're probably be like, <laughs> sorry about that. It has been 10 hours and I really believe that this is an enough time for me to tell or give my feedback about this foundation. So I honestly think that there is, I'm going to start with the things that I did not like like the miss in this product and I'm gonna end it with the lighter note the things that I like about it so the things that I do not like about this product is that I I got oily within around four hours of just wearing this product not even four hours to be honest and I was inside the mall so I didn't pretty much sweat or anything like that but it's not strong enough to keep the oiliness, the natural oiliness of my skin, if I make sense. So, and I also think that has something to do with me not setting it. But if you are just going to wear this alone, expect that you're going to be oily within four hours. I don't know if you have the same skin as me, but if you are oily, that's something that you would expect. Aside from that, this is a wonderful foundation. I'm going to go back on the back what it claims to be. It says here the finish is natural. That is so true because throughout the day, I feel like I'm flawless. And I feel pretty. I know I'm not that pretty, okay? I feel prettier today with this foundation. I know it's weird. I feel prettier even if my eye makeup sucked today. And then the next thing it says here, wear up to... It's a 24-hour wear. That's something that I really don't believe because it faded out already but what I, what i like about it is that even if it fades out it fade out it faded out beautifully it did not give me any patch patchiness and cakiness so that's what i like because i have makeup on right now but i don't look like so fake you know what i mean i don't look fake i don't look disgusting so the next thing here is coverage it claims here that it says high high or maximum coverage or Full coverage I don't think so I really do not think that this is a full coverage foundation for some people they may seem to have work but for me no probably if I use a powder that has color in it probably that's gonna be like full coverage but I didn't really see anything like you know the coverage that I really want I'm not like demanding of course this is a drugstore but some drugstores bleh, drugstores can do that so I think between the Pro Matte and this one, there's not much of a difference with the coverage. And uh, the last thing that it says here to claim the texture is supposedly supposed to be like air light. That is true. So that is pretty much it. I totally recommend this to you guys because it is really wonderful. So probably if I have used a primer and if I have used a setting powder, the longevity will be the longevity of this foundation will be maximized but I tried this on its own because earlier it gave me like this soft smooth finish like it's my skin like you don't have to wear any powder above it you'll know what I'm talking about once you guys have tried this one but I like the feeling like it's I feel like it's just me I know the color is lighter than my skin tone but I feel like it's just 
me like it's just my skin so that's one of the things that I really like about this one I feel like what I said I feel prettier with this foundation I know it's weird and someone complimented me today I don't know he just said that your makeup is beautiful but I know to myself that my makeup today sucks so probably this one it's this uh it's the uh, the foundation's responsibility because it really made my skin like flawless and i really don't think that this is i recommend this but i really don't think that this is something that you would go crazy about if you can't have it right away my suggestion is that just wait until it gets to your local cvs walmart walgreens right aid just wait for it because this is not something that's life-changing yes it is good but it's not like worth the you paying the shipment just to get one of these you know what i mean like it's not that life-changing it's not you know every time there's a new product everybody's going to rave about it and all that stuff but this is not it this is not like the product that you're you have to go crazy about because other foundations in the drugstore can do the same shit so that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i'm clear enough and I'm hope uh, and, I, and I'm hope I hope that I made myself clear and I hope you guys understand what the shit that I'm talking about and yeah let me know what you think on the comment box down below and I will see you guys next time bye what's that bye <laughs> I hate myself bye guys oh my gosh don't per the don't I can't talk why oh my gosh did you guys see my titties I hope not. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you do like this video, I already said that, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs>